the effects of the 2020 global pandemic were felt severely, specifically in the cruise shipping industry, and one of the best examples of this is probably the global class cruise ships. These were meant to be luxurious cruise ships that were originally ordered by a company based out of Hong Kong in 2016 with the idea of both ships in this fleet being the biggest cruise ships in the world. The construction of the first ship, the Global Dream, began in 2018 after a few years of finalizing designs and its twin sister, the Global Dream 2, which was thought to also be the same tonnage and size, began construction in 2019. However, due to the pandemic in 2020, the construction of both of these ships came to a grinding halt and for Global Dream the second construction would never resume. The ship, half-built, supposedly going to be the biggest ship in the world, was scrapped. It was done. I'm not sure we've seen an instance quite like this where such a massive ship never set sailed, unfinished and unwanted. 9,000 passenger cruise ship to be scrapped, the lower hull of the Global Dream, the second to be disposed of after shipbuilder filed for bankruptcy, and the bankruptcy by the Hong Kong company was mainly caused due to the pandemic. The pandemic hit China extremely hard, and you can see in that image the Global Dream, the second one right there, that ship, as you see it, was one giant waste of money. All of the material that went into building that was scrapped. Now, as for the original Global Dream, because it started construction earlier in mid-2018 as compared to the Global Dream the second starting construction in late 2019, it's been saved by Disney. As you can see, according to this article, the unfinished ship, the Global Dream, has been purchased by Disney. They acquired it in November of 2022, and they've already began rebranding it. They've got new renderings and renaming it the Disney Adventure. Now, why would Disney buy this ship? Well, when you look at the Global Dream 1, obviously the second one has been scrapped, but the first one, it was about 75% complete. Construction on that had been ongoing for a while, and they thought we can get a great deal on this. It was headed to the scrapyard as well. I mean, there's a world where both of these massive ships, these sister ships that were going to be the biggest ships in the world, this is back in 2017, 2018 when they planned this. I don't know if the Icon of the Seas has already passed them up. I would imagine it has, but it looks like Disney saw an opportunity to get a ship that's already 75% complete, buy it for cheap. You've already got the base of it built. Now you can redesign it a little bit, add your finishing touches, and rebrand the entire thing to the Disney Adventure, which they hope to launch in 2025. And I did want to find some of the original renderings of what the Global Dream ship was going to look like, so I decided to search Global Dream 2016, and I was able to find a few different renderings of the ship before, you know, the newer renderings with Disney involving their name into it, and you can see it does look very impressive. While the look and overall design will undoubtedly be uniquely Disney, here's a look at this mega liner which was tailor-made for Dream Cruises, originally planned for the ship to have a home port in Shanghai, which doesn't surprise me considering the people that wanted to build this were based out of Hong Kong. This was a Chinese vessel. You know, this was a Chinese cruise ship and they were trying to make the biggest ship in the world. You can see based off of the original design, a little bit more dull than your typical Disney ship. Not as many bells and whistles, although you do have a potential, looks like roller coaster on the top of the ship. You've also got a nice grassy area where you can conjugate at. You've got, of course, your water slides at the top of it as well, like most ships do. But the incorporation of the roller coaster, definitely a big deal when it comes to a cruise ship, especially you know based out of China being the biggest ship in the world these renderings are certainly impressive and then there are some interior renderings of what it could be as well and then a photo just the photos of it docks this is actually the global dream one believe it or not I couldn't find any interior photos it's very hard to find photos out of China I believe this was built in Germany, right? The shipyard was based in Germany. Um, you really can't find any interior photos during the construction. I really wanted to find the Global Dream 2 interior photos. That's the one that got scrapped. They got about 50% done with that one before it was completely 
over for it, and it's got to be a very rare circumstance where possibly the biggest ship in the world gets scrapped halfway through completion, and the entire fleet would have been scrapped if Disney didn't save it and say, look, we can get a great deal on this. This ship is virtually already built. Let's just redesign the exterior, throw Disney onto it, and we'll get a phenomenal deal on a ship that's already been built. So for them, it's a win-win, and that's, I believe, what they did. The question becomes, I guess, when it comes to Global Dream 2, the one that was scrapped halfway through completion, why wouldn't a cruise ship company try the same strategy that Disney is deploying where the ship is already built, you buy it for a ridiculously low price because it's going to be scrapped and then you remodel it the way you want it. Apparently there was a lack of interest and due to the ship's ridiculous size, there were zero buyers along with the fact that it was less built than the original Global Dream. I was able to find an article back in 2018 and it's interesting to see kind of a snapshot in time before there was any type of pandemic or any issue. New renderings released for the Dream Cruises Global Class. You can see March of 2018 and... According to this article, everything was going as planned. Sure, it was delayed a little bit because they were getting the designs together, but apparently both of these ships were expected to join the company's fleet in late 2020. Of course, that never ended up happening with one ship being completely scrapped, never setting sail. It is interesting to think about it sitting at a dock and just realizing that this is it. It's done. They build a ship to scrap it. That's basically how it went. And, and a massive ship, that is. It wasn't like this was a you know, medium-sized cruise ship, this was a gigantic cruise ship that was, at least, at least partially, as you can see in the photos, completely thrown by the wayside, with the first ship barely being saved by Disney and turning into the Disney Adventure. Now, as for the Dream Cruises company, you can see their two bigger ships that were both launched with gross tonnage right around 150k, the first one launching in 2016, the second one in 2017, the overall design looks very similar to the potential newer ships that they plan to launch in 2020 and 2021. The difference with the newer ships, they were going to be almost a fourth bigger in terms of gross tonnage. I also saw this, uh, I can only assume this was a potential video showing how the original Global Dream would look if it actually got built, probably a rendering from 2017 or 2018. They officially released renderings in 2018. You can see the roller coaster going all the way around the ship. But either way, guys, that is the story of the world's biggest ship that became cursed. Supposed to have a roller coaster, supposed to have many different luxurious amenities scrapped for very little, and the first ship with an evaluation of $1.1 billion selling at just 75% complete for much less than that to Disney, who's doing an official rebranding on it and launching it in 2025. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.